here with a finished object for you. It's the Ashley Bubble Stitch Cowl by Paige Adams. It's pretty much based on her pattern with a little bit of riffing from me. I didn't quite understand how she did her bubble stitch, so I ended up looking up a tutorial on YouTube to use. It was a similar tutorial that I looked at for a bubble stitch baby sweater that I did a little while back. And I love it so much. I actually haven't even tried it on yet. I just steamed it and I thought, mm, let me just try it on live on the video. This is where I cast on and it seems like it's a little bit smaller than the bind off here. So I think I'm going to put that at the top of my bubble cowl. Now she had a certain amount of stitches as the cast on, but I did a little bit bigger than that. I Think. I don't even remember how many, but you just kind of base it on other cowls you have in your stash. I think I based it off of my Choose Your Own Adventure Christmas cowl because it was the same needle size. I think it was a size eight. And I love this bubble stitch so much. I knew when I saw this mini skein kit by Homespun House that I wanted to make something bubble-like. And I didn't quite have enough yardage to make that huge giant bubble cowl that Stephen West has. So I went with something a little more simple. This was a perfect project to do just like on a weekend day. And so I had my small circumference size eight needles here and these mini skeins are actually DK, which is so much fun. And I have plenty of yardage left. I think I actually might put these in a D stash. So if you're loving this bubble cowl, look for a D stash coming up soon. You could make a hat. You could use these minis for any type of color work you have that required DK. This was a little set that she did inspired by Harry Potter. So it came with a little bag too, with a little stamp on it and her logo on the back. So every single one has a clever name and I tucked the tag right inside here. So the only one I remember is this one was Deathly Hollows. So the bubble stitch is so much fun. It really helps to highlight indie dyed yarn. You can see just the various little speckles on there when you look through it. And I thought this was just a really cute collection that needed to be together. Sometimes I see mini skein sets and I just think they go so nicely that they need to stay a family. So I used that idea when I did my Ziggy Interrupted with the Homespun House and the Chelsea Yarns Advents. I wanted to keep them all together. And I think that's something that's so fun about watching what indie dyers do, especially when they make a collection, it's fun to keep them as a family. So highly recommend the bubble stitch for anything you wanna do. If you have a stitch dictionary, maybe a Barbara Walker or a Vogue Knitting Treasury, something like that, you can pull from that too and make any kind of cowl. So just choose your own adventure here. I was looking at another one that had Another sort of technology like this where you use, I think this isn't really slip stitching. This is dropping down to make the bubble, but you could do something that sort of mimics this with a slip stitch. So you keep one row consistent throughout. So maybe I would have kept the Deathly Hollows in between each of these bubble sections as a row and then slip the stitch so it almost looks like it's all connected. And then in the background, you would have the changes of the various colors of the indie dyed yarn happening. So there are cowl books out there, there are stitch dictionaries, lots of things that you can use as a resource if you want to sort of make up your own cowl. And I, I basically did that by referencing Paige Adams pattern, which I will link to underneath this video, and also the bubble stitch YouTube tutorial that I found online and then my own pattern of the Choose Your Own Adventure. I mix them all together to come up with this sweet little cowl and I love it. I love something that covers the back of my neck. I love to be able to tuck something under my hair or inside my jacket. It's very wearable and really fun and it just elevates your knitwear from maybe purchasing something that was machine knit from Target or a, a, a shop that is really inexpensive to something that you handmade yourself with something that was specially dyed for you. So thank you so much as always for checking in here with me on Christy Glass Knits. I love sharing my finished objects with you and sort of talking through the process and inspiring you to do something. If you've never done the bubble stitch, this is really accessible and I encourage you to try it because the more you get out of your comfort zone, the more confidence you build as a knitter and then you make more and more beautiful things. And that's what knitting is all about. I'll see you next time here on Christy Glass Knits. Bye.